What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an all-time favorite Pokemon, Scizor, in the Series 2 Rank Ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I mentioned, we are using Scissor today, and this Pokemon is actually really solid in Series 2. Considering counter Flutter mains with first turn priority bull punch, you gotta love it. But Scissor is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview, and Scissor's over here rocking the clear amulet with technician ability. It's got protect. It's got Sword Sands for that plus two attack boost, and then it's got X Scissor and Bullet Punch for two heavy hitting stab moves. Grimmsnarl is going to be our second Pokemon, and if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know I absolutely love this Grimmsnarl build. Light Clay with the screens, come on man, it's too easy with that. It just makes your team so bulky, it can legit start ripping through things and just out bulking your opponent's team. It's got Prankster, the Light Clay, Misty Terrain to actually take away uh, Terrain Control. So going up against Arm Rouge and uh, Indeedee teams, we can actually counter them with Grimmsnarl. And then we got Reflect, Light Screen, and last but not least, big hitting stab move is going to be Play Rough on this Grimmsnarl. Third Pokemon is going to be Cerulege. We've been seeing a ton of Cerulege's all across the rank ladder as of recently, and I don't blame it. Cerulege has been absolutely amazing, especially with this move set right here. Protect. Bulk Up, Shadow Sneak, and Bitter Blade. Really can't go wrong with it. This one has Flash Fire, and then the Misty Seeds to pair up with that Grim Snarl. Fluttermane is going to be our fourth Pokemon, and again, it's Series 2. Can't go wrong with Fluttermane. It's just super strong all around. It's got Protosynthesis and the Focus Ash. Protect, Parish Song, Shadow Ball, and Moon Blast for its four moves. Fifth Pokemon is going to be my boy, Deadly Deadly Bird over here. Iron Bundle with Cork Drive, Booster Energy, Protect, Icy Wind, Freeze Dry, and Hydro Pump. Legit the best move set for any Iron Bundle. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Amoongus. Amoongus is great on the support side and very strong in Shrek Room. It's got Regenerator, Covert Cloak with Protect, Rage Powder, Spore, and Palm Puff. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Scizor Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys. And we're going to be having a hard time here. We're going up against Torkoal and Lilligan. That combo is so OP. It is so OP. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win here and get started off here strong. They also have the Great Tusk. They got Fluttermane. They got King Gambit. And last but not least, Dragonite. So this one, again, going to be tough to get things started. I think I got to lead some screens, right? Get some screens out here. Get rocking with that. So screen's going to be our first Pokemon. And then I can also bring in Delibird and Cerule Edge, which would not be bad, right? Delibird and Cerule Edge can, can get a lot of work done. But the problem is the sun. I mean, they can pop Protosynthesis for us. Not too bad. So I might just go Fluttermane on that note, right? Might just go Fluttermane on that note. I am going to also bring in Deli Bird, right? I gotta bring Deli Bird. Deli Bird gets some work done. I gotta bring Deli Bird in here. And then last but not least, it's either Cerule Edge or Scizor. Cerule Edge seems a bit better here, especially if they set Sun. We could definitely get some work done. So I'm gonna go, gonna go Cerule Edge over top of uh, what's called right now. Over top of Scizor. Hurts for me to do that, but I'll definitely get out Scizor in the next match. Definitely get him in the next match, because I really want to bring Scissor here in the first match, but it just seems like to get us started here with a win, we got to go with Cerule Edge over top of him. Got to do it. We got to do it. But yeah, we have to lead screens here also, just in case he wants to lead Torkoal. We need something to kind of like make us a bit more bulkier and withstand some eruption damage. That's exactly what we're going to do. And he ends up going Gambo alongside with Fluttermane. Okay, so Light Stream or Reflect here. Which one do we really want to go for? I mean, I could Protect. I think I just... Ooh, what do I do here? You're a little rough. You are a little rough here. I don't want to waste my terror on you. At this point, I kind of just want to set up this Reflect and then Protect. I could Shadow Ball. I could definitely Shadow Ball. I'm just going to Protect and, and, and feel out what our opponent's doing, right? I just want to feel out what our opponent's doing. So I end up Protecting. Let's see what he ends up doing. Let's see what he ends up doing. If I had to guess, he's going to go for an Iron Head and maybe a Shadow Ball on me, right? He's going to Gleam. That's going to do a nice chunk of damage here. And I would think you're double down on Fluttermane. Oh, wow, we survived on two. You are double down on Fluttermane. So, Light Screen, we can get it off still. That's big time. So, now we can freely Light Screen. And I could Terrasize on top of that. Unless I'm straight Fairy Terra. I'm Steel. Jeans likes that. Jeans likes that a lot. So, at this point, we set up the Light Screen. We Terrasize our Fluttermane. And then we just straight up Shadow Ball this thing, correct? Makes the most sense. He might even protect his Fluttermane here. But yo, steal? This was perfect. I was going to say, am I really fairy here? But nah, yo, we steal Terra Fluttermane. I really like that. Really came up clutch. Because most Fluttermanes are fairy. 
and that would have done us nothing. That would have done us no good. So this is actually working out pretty perfectly, considering I got a nice free focus sash out of my Grimmsnarl. And now we got off Reflect and Lynch, which is just gorgeous. So Shadow Ball comes out here, we outspeed. This thing's gotta be Sash, right? It is Sash. That is a Sash little mod. Actually, we didn't even bring it down to one. We didn't even bring it down to one. That might have not been Sash. We, we brought it down to like two. But it's good to know we outspeed. It's good to know that we outspeed. Iron Head comes in here. Lovely Steel Terror types helps us out tremendously. And I could go into Deli Bird here, or I could just go straight to you. I could go straight into you. What moves do I have? Oh, I have Shadow Ball and Moonblast. Ooh. I think from here we just Shadow Sneak the Flutter Main slot and then we uh, Shadow Ball that slot, right? Yeah, that's our best bet. Or I could bulk up. Ooh, what do I do? No, we definitely have to Shadow Sneak you. We definitely have to Shadow Sneak you down. Sucker Punch is scary, though. Sucker Punch is real scary, and I'm just gonna... Hmm. He's got a Thrasilize here, right? You got a Thrasilize. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'll actually Moonblast the slide, just in case he wants to swap. Yep. There's a swap. Just in case he wants to swap, I threw a Moonblast, and it's gonna be Dragon Egg. Oh, baby. Oh, baby! Great calls from us. Great calls from us. We weren't predicting the Dragonite, we were just predicting a potential swap. Potential swap. But there's Terrasilize from him. That's fine. He's gonna go straight into fire. So fire comes out here. Been seeing a lot of fire King Gambit has recently. A ton. A bit too many. A bit too many. Moonblast ends up flying here. Chunking up some big time damage. That was multi-scale too, I believe. And we get the special attack drop. We like that. Rear Blade flies to the rear. Gambit's gonna be able to soak pretty well. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. Nice big time crit. And Terror Blast now flies. That is taking out my Flutter Main, no problem. But I do have the Deli Deli Bird in the back end. So I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I really don't think we're sitting in a bad spot here. I could bulk up. I could definitely bulk up. Which I think I'm going to do. Just to prevent Sucker Punch from coming after me. I'm really thinking of just bulking up to the ledge. And then just Hydra Pump into King Gambit. And we got Cork Drive. Ooh, I love the Cork Drive. I love the Cork Drive. Dragonite might even protect here. But yeah, now's the time to bulk up and then just rip a Hydra Pump into the Gambit slot. Because again, I do think it's going to go for Sucker Punch. We're going to end up eating up that E Speed. And Sucker Punch does go after you. Okay, that's fine. Can we land this Hydra Pump, please, and thank you? Thank you. See you later, Gambit. Of course, Gambit survives there. I mean, we can Shadow Sneak it. But we're just going to bulk up. Get a nice big bulk up. So now we're bulking up. We can eat up an E-Speed too, which is good. We can definitely eat up an E-Speed. And at this point, I could just Shadow Sneak you, Freeze Dry you, and pick up a double KO, right? Because I believe Shadow Sneak should come out before a Sucker Punch. Correct. Okay, cool. So like I said, we can eat up the E-Speed. We ate it up no problem. Shadow Sneak comes out before the uh, Sucker Punch. Get rid of the Gambo, and now Freeze Dry gets rid of you. And then I can legit just Shadow Sneak the uh, Flutter Main on one. And it's pretty much a pretty much 2v1. And I have a bulked up Cerule Edge. And I have Reflex out, don't I? And I have Light Tree. I got them both. I got them both. That's why we're soaking so well. That's why my Deli Bird is an absolute sponge right now. We got the screens out here. Tusk is going to come out here. Okay, Tusk is, Tusk is rather scary. We don't like Tusk. And Flutter Mane's also going to come out here. I feel like here EQ could be terrifying. EQ could be terrifying. We know that uh, Deli Bird's fastest, so I could Icy Wind for the KOs. They have no first turn priority, right? I might Icy Wind and Bitter Blade. Where do I Hydra Pump? I think I just Icy Wind. I think I just do this, right? EQ scare me. Oh, wow. We actually, that, that Icy Wind did a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> I think we just won this one straight up. All right. I was going to say, I don't know if we can eat up an EQ with the Reflect, but... Oh, wow, you go for that instead. That's fine. That's fine. Weird play, but that's fine. Weird play, but that's fine, because no first-turn priority moves coming out from the Don fan. Game, set, match. Game, set, match. My boy Deli Deli Bird's going to take out with a freeze dry. They have no terrestrialization. Lovely. Lovely first match. Solid all around from both ends. 
Solid match from both ends. But like I said, free strikes can poke out here. We get rid of the great tusk, and there's match number one. Big time dub from us. We start off 1 0. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Houndstone team with no T Tar, right? That's weird. That's definitely weird, but it seems like they have something up their sleeve. I'm kind of scared, but they got Brute Bonnet, Murkrow, Iron Hands, Fluttermane, and Great Tusk. Okay, so pretty strong team all around. Just what's throwing me off is the Houndstone without the T-Tar. Definitely want Scissor in this match. Scissor's going to be great. Love it so much, and I might even lead Scissor. I mean, Murkrow could definitely be, be a lead for them, so I might just lead Delibird on top of that. The Delibird could be good, and we could also lead Screens Grimmsnarl. Or I can go straight into Scissor. What do I want to do? I could go Fluttermane. I mean, Fluttermane's not bad here. We could actually go Fluttermane and Grimstone here. Or just go ooh, double. We could double down here. We could double down with the Ghost just in case they want to go for a fake out Mon. I'm with this. I'm with the double Ghost. Double Ghost, Scizor, and Delibird. Seems perfect. Seems money. No screens, even though I love them and screens are so good. We even showed it in that last battle, why screens are so good. My Delibird was able to eat up an E-Speed, a Sucker Punch, and another E-Speed. It was just, it was just too strong. It was just, we were just out bulking. We were just out bulking. But I wonder why our opponent did not go for an EQ on that Great Tusk. Maybe it did not, it wasn't rocking EQ. Some of them just rock, rock Headlong Rush and Close Combat. But I feel like if they EQ'd, they had a chance of picking up the double KO, which would have won them the game. But it's okay. I'll take a win. I'll take a win all day for you guys. But let's see your opponent's gonna lead. It's gotta be Iron Hands, right? Iron Hands or Murkrow. We have double ghosts out here. I'm kinda I'm kinda hoping that it is gonna be Iron Hands. And it's not. But it's kinda fine. I'm kinda cool with that. I don't mind it too much. We got Cerulege and Fluttermane. So from here I could just could just do that. Kinda lean towards that and just maybe shadow sneak it on top of that. Because I can. Cause I can. Or I could just protect your. I might just double down to you. I mean, I can Shadow Seek an extra, and I'm just gonna chip up some damage on the Murkrow, get some HP back. So let's see what our opponent does here. I think we're both gonna Thrasilize or Flutter Mains here, correct? It makes the most sense. It doesn't make the most sense, but yo, Scissor could. Mm, if I would have led Scissor, would have been beautiful. But I highly doubt they have a, they have a Steel Flutter Main Terra. It's usually been Fairy. I was surprised to see our Flutter Main Steel, but that actually might have won us the game, that early Thrasilization from us. But we're doing it again. Steel Terra Fluttermane for the win. Loving this thing. I'm loving this thing. <laughs> Even though Fairy is so good because you just get that huge damage boost. But Steel Terra is just very, very powerful. Very powerful for Fluttermane on the defensive side. So he's going to end up Tailwinding. Who Shadow Ball is the real question. You're going to take out my Cerule Edge. I should just Shadow Sneak that thing. Oh, Cerule Edge eats. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's amazing because now I can shadow sneak you down even if you're sashed, which you are. Oh my god, yo, Cerule Edge, the man. The man. No problem, he said. He said no problem. Now Bitter Blade gives us some HP back. I can Moonblast that thing down. I could also double protect and waste out turns. Might want to do that. Do I want to do that? Kind of. You know what? That's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to waste out Tailwind turns. I'm going to waste out Tailwind turns. You might even swap Fluttermane here. We might give him a free swap, but no, we don't. Beautiful. Double protect. Wasting out these Tailwind turns. I'll do it all day. I'll do it all day. We also have Delibird in the back end, which is great. But they also have Terrasalization up their sleeve. The so Shadow Ball comes out here. We block it. Foul Play comes out here. We block it. So what's going to happen here is I believe I take out Fluttermane, and I take out Murkrow, and they only take out my Cerule Edge, right? Because Shadow Sneak's gonna go first. Yep, we're gonna take out that. Murkrow should outspeed both my Pokemon and then just foul play and get rid of my Cerule Ledge. And then we get rid of him with the Moon Blast. Yeah, so that's exactly what happens. I'll take that all day. I will take that all day. We get rid of the Murkrow. We get rid of their Water Main. And we waste out some Tailwind turns. This one's gonna be close because they still have Terrasalization too. So what other Pokemon do they have up their sleeve? I mean, we could go Scissor here. I mean, Scissor's not too bad. We could eventually Sword Sand, so we have first time priority right now. And we could save our Delibird for the back end. I can get down with that. I like that a little bit. 
So we're gonna go into Skizzy Skizor. They're gonna go into Iron Hands, which is kind of annoying. Don't really feel like dealing with Iron Hands. And their next Pokemon is going to be Houndstone. The lovely little dog. So I was I knew something was up in sleep, right? It's scaring me. I could also protect here again. Which I think I do. Oh, I could parasol. I could definitely parasol here. Now would be a time to do it. But no, nah, I'm just gonna protect. I'm gonna protect you because I know the fake out's coming in that slot. And I could also swords dance, but I'm just gonna bull punch and do as much damage as I can to this hound soon. Like the fake out has to go into the butter main slot. So if we could just straight up block it, that'd be nice. But yo, Scissor looks so good. It looks so good. It looks too good, right? Just like the, the shading and the graphical design that they did on Scissor. It's just unbelievable. It looks so good. Gyarados looks good in this game too. And Grimstar. I like how Grimstar looks. Some Pokemon just look better than others. They just do. But again, they have Terrasalization. I'm kind of scared of it. It's got to be to the Iron Hands, right? Straight Electric. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be Iron Hands. Is it straight electric? Barry. Oh, I'm bullet punching you next turn, little boy. You're getting straight bullet punch. He actually might fake out my my scissor at this point. With that terrestrialization. Let's see how this one plays. Just for the fake out, it is into the flood main slot. So big time read from your boy jeans. And maybe the Houndstone doubles down into it as well. Bullet punch now flies. Chipping up actually did like no damage. Oh, you got Rocky Helmet too. This thing is bulky, and Lancer Specs can come out here. Ouch. Hurts a little bit. And their Tailwind's gone. Okay, so Tailwind's out the way. I can Shadow Ball finish you off. And I can also just Bull Punch and get off as much damage as I can onto this Fairy Terra Iron Hands. That might have been a big mistake to Rasalize and into that. Actually, kind of, not really. Because either way, it's going up against a super effective Pokemon. But now that we waste out Tailwinds, which was amazing for us, that was a huge double protect from us, we're able to outspeed this Houndstone and just get rid of it. Right? This should KO. I believe it should. This little stab super effective shot. Get it on out of here. And now if Iron Hands does not take out my scissor here, it's game. It's pretty much game regardless. We have... Oh, wait just a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. I forgot about nice, lovely HP recovery here. A little ugly. A little ugly. That's a big time damage. But you can't get that much HP back anymore, so. The jig's up. The jig is up. Right here, we'll go for a nice little moon blast and we'll just bullet punch yet again. I could Swords Dance here, but our opponent just cancels battle. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 0. Completely dominating so far. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Corviknight and Glamour team. This team looks awesome. They also have Gaston. I'm not too worried about Gaston. That's certainly the only water Pokemon I have is Delibird, but we also have Freeze Dry on it. So it makes up for it. It makes up for it. They also have the Iron Hands. They have Grimmsnarl as well. I think we're going to see a Grimmsnarl mirror matchup here. I really do. So you know what? I'm going to go Grimmsnarl. Nice, lovely Grimmsnarl lead. I could also lead a Pokemon like Delibird or even Cerulege or even Scissor. I feel like we have so many different options of what we want, what we can go into. So what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Corviknight's looking a little scary. That makes me want to lead a Pokemon like you. Like Cerulege. So I am going to do that. I'm going to go Cerulege. I'm going to go Cerulege, Grimmsnarl, Deli Deli Bird, and then last but not least, got to go Skiz, right? Skiz is just a man. He's just a man. I could actually lead Skizzy. But the problem is Corviknight. The problem is going to be Corviknight. So I'm just going to bring Skizzer in the back end and leave Fluttermane out. Even, yo, I got to bring Fluttermane. Scissor, I'm sorry, man. I got to bring Fluttermane. I'm looking to win here. I'm looking to win here. This match is actually up against a top 500 opponent. So I kind of want to get my rank up. I kind of want to get my rank up. I'm sitting at like 900. I've been playing really good recently. Recently, I've been killing it for you guys. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying. Because again, killing it. But if you guys notice, if I'm uploading later in the day, it's because I started my brand new job. I'm working eight hour shifts. It's a nine hour day. So I'm getting home a lot later. I'm getting home around five o'clock recording for you guys. Trying to get some stuff set up. Right now, I'm only working two days a week. So there will only be late uploads two days a week. But then starting in the summer, I'll be working five days a week, 40 hours. So again, bear with me. If we have later uploads, that is why. But I'm trying to like pre-record on the weekends. So I can kind of stay ahead of schedule for you guys. So again, just bear with me. And hope you guys still enjoy all the content. But who do they lead? I don't even know. I was speaking too much. Who did you lead? Show me the opposing team. Oh, we have the same lead. That is weird. That is weird. I was like, show me the opposing team. And it's just the same team. 
So I could play her up. I feel like we have to go screen for screen here. And I'm going to bulk up. I could even terrestrialize. I'm going to bulk. I'm going to terrestrialize and bulk up. I think we're going to do the same thing. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be sick. It's a big time terror from us. Or is that them? But I think our character is the same too. <laughs> like I think, I think our uh, our dudes are the same too. But that's gotta be me, right? That's gotta be me. It is me. And they set up reflect. I think he's going for a shadow sneak up against me. Oh no! I terrestrialize in the grass. But you can't hit me. I got flash fire. Sick. It's awesome. Then they're definitely bulking up, right? Have we seen a double bulk up action? Oh no, you just got Swords Dance. Okay, that's a little scary. I don't really like that. Not too much. Not too much. Uh, player is going to come out here now. And yeah, I'm just going to Shadow Sneak in this thing. And hoping it's not Terrasalizing. Wow, I could have Shadow Sneak last turn. Wow, Swords Dance. <laughs> so we both go for the... We both opt for the, uh, the stat boost move. He does not change typings. Which I really like. Because now I'm just Shadow Sneaking in that thing. Parting shot coming in. How dare you? That ain't cool. That ain't right. So my defense is bulked. My attack's back to normal. Alright. I'll deal with it. What's up parting shot on that? Dang, dude. That's a really just terrifying, right? That thing's a scary little booger. That's a scary little customer. Who are they going to go into now? Because the Swords Dance Ledge, I do not like it. I simply don't like it. It's going to be Corviknight. That thing's a problem. They're saving its terrestrialization for that. What are- Chill! Chill! Chill, dog, Chill! Chill! Didn't I tell you to chill? Chill! Chill! Yo, chill! Plus four! Chill! <laughs> chill! Oh my lord. I might set up a light screen here, or I could swap. What are you gonna go for? I might have to just let my Grimstone die. Yeah, we're gonna set up a light screen here. I could play rough into that thing, but... Is that really gonna do anything? I feel like Corbinite has to has to thrash last year, correct? In the straight flying. So I'm just gonna shadow sneak again into the uh through ledge slot. Plus that thing's plus four. He's gotta go. He has got to go. He's got to go. This gotta be the Corvo, Corvo. 100 percent Gotta be the Corvo, Corvo. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't bitter blade into it. Straight flying. Dragon! A dragon Corviknight. We're seeing some cool stuff today. The Dragon Corvo comes in here. Shadow Sneak's popping. No more Shadow Sneak will KO here. I think it's terrifying. He's, he's KOing me. He's, he's hitting me hard with something. He's going to get back HP with this Bitter Blade here, right? Yeah, that's that, that that's no bueno. What am I supposed to do? Oh my lord. This ain't right. This is not cool. I'm done. I lost. I lost. I'm not running because I don't want to get swept. But what do I do? What does Jeans do here? Oh, we, we can do this. Don't know what to do. <laughs> this is terrifying. So we're going to Shadow Sneak you this time around. I probably should have Shadow Sneak the other thing. But I already know I lost this match. I already know I lost this match. I already know I lost this match. Correct? I'm just trying not to get swept. <laughs> this one is wraps. Actually, we might have a semi shot here. Deli Bird can really come in here and put on a show. Deli Bird's just the man. The player off coming out here. We self reflecting stuff. That's some nice damage. They can roost. They can bitter blade. Deli Bird's play. Or I can go into you. Oh, I have two. We have a shot at this. Who do I go into? I think I just Deli Bird this up. Okay, so here's the thing. I think I gotta get rid of Cerule Edge, right? I think Cerule Edge just got to go. Can't deal with the Cerule Edge, right? I think Cerule Edge just got to go. And we'll just play off this thing down again. So yeah, we're gonna go, go for the Hydra Pump land. I could freeze dry the Corvo, but... One of them's protecting. They might even double protect here. He withdraws the bird. Okay, the bird gets withdrawn. Are you going into? Who are you going into? You're going back into this little booger, and you protect. You coward. Such a coward move. Such a coward play, right? Re really cowardly play. Real cowardly play. 
Such a coward. <laughs> I'm just playing. It. All jokes around here. But we still get off a nice little play. And never mind. Never mind. I lied. I lied. We don't get off a play rough. We don't get off a play rough because this game is atrocious. So from here, we obviously just want another Hydro Pump chance here. He wants to set up a light screen. He might need parting shot into me. He has options. A lot of options. Shadow Sneak comes out here. Later, Grimstarl. And now, are you setting up a screen or are you parting shot into me? Give me the brutal honest truth. I already know I'm losing this match. I don't want to get swept. It's the light screen. We still be able to KO through that light screen. Hydro Pump hits hard. If we could land it. If we could land a move, it would hit hard. Oh my lord. Oh, that's lovely. I'll miss a play rough and a Hydro Pump. Lovely. Just what I wanted, guys. Just what I wanted. Play rough and Hydro Pump? Ain't right. I just want to kill. I just want to kill because I can't get swept. I'm not allowed to get swept. There's, I have two rules on the channel. We don't go 0-3 in the video, and we don't get swept. There's Protect. That's why I did not double down into some rule edge. At least I get off a lovely little Moonblast. I swear, if Moonblast somehow misses, this fist to the camera. <laughs> but Moonblast connects. We got half damage. He's spirit breaking. Okay, I, I could have sworn you were going to go for a parting shot. But still, we're not getting swept here. I mean, he could party shot me now. Could get real ugly. I still want a moon blast here, and I st I'm still going for that hydro pump. I still want it. I still want. It. He's probably gonna. He's probably gonna party shot into me here, and put me to minus two just so he can live this hydro pump. Okay, never mind. He party shot into you, bro. Can I just get a kill? Can I just get a kill? Like we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. I just want to kill. I already know I lost. I already said it. But this opponent just wants to keep, keep kicking me while I'm down. He has a plus four Cerule Edge on the field, and if we don't KO it right now, we lose. Oh, but you throw out that. That's big time. That's big time, because I can KO that. Hydro Pump coming out here. Not even close. Not even close. Moonblast should KO. Let's go. No sweeps. You ain't sweeping me. Not happening. Not happening. Silly bird. That's kind of a bad swap, to be honest. But I think he just wants to sacrifice his death and get off another burn shot. Better Blade just dump it on me, no problem. And yeah, that's a game set match. No problem. I can't KO that thing. It's behind screens. It's gonna keep partner shotting into me. Grimstone is coming back out here for another partner shot. And my teams reflect this call. So my, my one line of defense just dropped out. Huge. If it was a one on one, we definitely could have won this match. Because we have lovely little Shadow Ball. Should I try Shadow Ball KO? There's no way it KOs. Hydro Pump's not KO. Yeah, no. It, we're, we're running this battle. Not even worth it. Not even worth it. But hey, we didn't get swept in that last battle. We did get our butts kicked. But 2 and 1 for today's video. Grab ourselves a lovely winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Solid set of battles for today's video. Going 2 and 1, but getting whooped on in match number 3. There's no sugar coat in it. Did not play that good. Actually, I played pretty decent. Our opponent just outplayed us like crazy. Set up a bulk up. Two swords dances. There was no shot we were winning it after that. But I love this team. Scissor was awesome in match number two. We got out the rest of the Pokemon, except for Amoongus, because really no need for him in any of the battles. And again, grab yourselves a nice, lovely winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.